Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to graph functions. So this question was taken from the 2019 exam paper. In this video, I'll go through the first function that we were given and in part two, I'll talk through the second function on how we graph it. So we are asked that we have to draw each of the following functions in the domain, minus two is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to two. And our function that we're given is y is equal to 10x minus 4x squared. So the key word here is domain. So a domain just means a range. And it's showing us the range of x values. So x can be greater than or equal to minus 2. So x can be equal to minus 2. And all the way up to x is less than or equal to 2. So what are all the values between minus 2 and plus two because they're both included on either side. We've x could be minus two, x could be minus one, x could be zero, x could be one, and x could be two. So that's the domain there that's listed. So minus two inclusive all the way up to two, which is also included because x is greater than or equal to minus two and it's less than or equal to two. So that's why those two values are included at either end. Okay, then we just use substitution. So anywhere we used to have an x, we replace it with our number. So when x is minus two, y is going to be equal to 10 times minus two minus four by minus two squared. And that will give us y is equal to minus 36. When x is minus one, y is going to be equal to 10 by minus one minus four by minus one squared. And that gives us y is minus 14. When x is zero, y is going to be equal to 10 times zero minus four by zero squared. And that also gives us y is zero. When x is one, y is going to be 10 times one minus four by one squared, which gives y is six. And finally, when x is minus two, y is 10 times two minus four times two squared, and we get y is equal to four. So now we just have to write out their corresponding coordinates so that we can draw them on the graph. So coordinates, remember you have your x value first and your y value second. So our x value here was minus two and we got our y is minus 36. Onto the next, x was minus one, y was minus 14. Then we had zero, zero, we had one, six, and we had two, four. And now we just plot these on our graph. So we have minus two minus 36 first. So that's minus two on the X and we go down to minus 36, which would be about here. Then we have minus one minus 14, which would be about here. Then we have zero, zero right in the middle. We've one, six. And then we have two, four. Okay, now all we have to do is join up those points. So we very carefully join each of the points together. And we go up to the next point and up to the next. And now we have to go downwards. So you can see our graph is upward sloping and then it starts to curve downwards. And that's how you draw a function.